What's up guys, and Amateur Con here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the new and improved car code. It's called Realistic Car Version 2 for two reasons. The main one is because I was not able to update the old level because of a glitch. But another reason is because the code is so different that it's like a whole different car. Now, now check it out, there's drifting. There's no sounds. That's the only thing that's not done. But there's drifting. Uh, it does not randomly jump off the ground. It sticks to the ground very well. When you turn, it does not um, lock. Like, after, you're, after you stop turning, it doesn't immediately go straight. It, it actually keeps turning, like, realistically. Sometimes, like you saw it right there, it does. I don't know why. I coded it correctly. I, maybe I didn't. I don't know. But as you can see, it, it um, conforms to like, the surface, so it's not, oh, how, it, it, um, it can drive on any surface, basically. And if you, if you haven't noticed already, how I did it <laughs> was by making the car fly. The car is not using the move command, it's actually flying. Like, I know it's literally flying, but... The technical term for it is it's flying. <laughs> That's the code I use. <laughs> I'm just messing around. It, it handles pretty well. Uh, the drifting, basically what the drifting does, it, it just turns it. It just turns sharper. It, it doesn't like slide anymore. It, it, you just hold space and it turns. It just turns more. So it, it'll be helpful if I ever make a race. It's going to be really tough to make a full racetrack, though, because you get so, just, the amount of land you get to work with is so small. It's ridiculous. All right, so I bet you're wondering how the heck I did this. So, as I told you, I completely took out the person. I completely took out the character, and I replaced it with a fourth logic cube. It's the one behind the bigger cube. It's uh, that one. It's that one right there. But an unknown thing, an unknown problem, um, which is actually, which was pretty predictable now that I think about it, but it came up. Um, height. The pitch and the uh, roll, the pitch and the roll, that was covered. But the height of the actual car was not nothing was affecting the height so I made the main cube uh, I made the main cube dictate how high it was at first I had it like move uh, fly up and down that was not working so as you can see I had it ray cast directly down and then I set the cubes position to where the ray cast hit and then I added 3.4 uh, to offset it, so the car wasn't in the ground. As you can see here, this is how I this is how I made it so the turning doesn't make the car like snap. So like you're going straight, you start turning after, you, and then after you stop turning, it like immediately goes straight. This code right here uh, prevents that. Uh, right here is for it going forward so how this works <laughs> it's it's really it looks complicated it's really simple though as as time goes on the it turns the logic cube or the car turns slower and slower un until it's so it's gradual and that's how I that's how I do it that's how I make it turn flight combined with the car turning after I stop turning for I believe 20 yeah 20 frames and this is how the wheels turn very very simple that's what the three logic cubes in front are for uh, yeah that's the car the only thing I have to do uh, now is add sound and 
probably a way for it to like fall. Th that's going to be really easy though because I'll just make it so when the front raycast and the back raycast aren't hitting terrain, I'll have the whole thing move down. That that'll be easy. But the sound part is actually going to be really really annoying. Uh I might have to look on the community levels to see what other people used for engine, like engine uh, sound, because I don't want to be like looking through everything. So guys, I hope you enjoyed. That's the new car. Now all I have left is to make the game. See you guys later.